I love fast, inexpensive, fun projects. This is a pickle jar. My husband goes through one of these about every two weeks and I decided I need to, to make use of all of these jars. I'm using White Swan in the DIY brand paint and it dries super fast. It'll go on leather. You can make velvet couches be dyed and not be crunchy. It goes on glass, mirror. You can make an actual chalkboard to write on. You can do so many things. So here I'm taking a Iron Orchid crockery stamp and a brayer and I am taking some cheap air dry clay. It makes a lot more cracks and it will make you cuss if you try to use it in the Victoria or the Harper letter molds. Don't do it. Some of the other molds, it's hard to use. I only use it for this level of projects. And the Iron Orchid clay that is air dry is artist grade and it is the best ever. I keep both on hands. I sell all these products in this video. You can look in the description box for the links to get there and see what else I'm doing there too. So right now I have already let my two coats of white swan dry and I am just taking the tight bond glue, which is my favorite. And I glued the clay on there after rolling it out. And then I took the crockery stamp and impressed that look. That's the, that I call it cuss and crackle cause you will cuss trying to get out of the molds. That's why I only use it on this level projects. Let your air dry clay dry completely before you paint it. You don't have to, but if you don't, you have to be more gentle to not mar your image. And then I take a spray bottle and spray the paint to get it really down in the groove. Sometimes I don't even spray it. Here I'm taking the lids and I just stamp the crockery stamp on there. Here I took some molds and put them on there and you could put a hole in it with the drill and make them into ornaments or whatever. Okay, the best way to work with jars is to roll up towels or do them like this. And here I'm just showing the technique. I just made a glaze with some paint. I watered it down really good. So have fun with this part. Try different colors and just let it drip. And if you want to, you can wipe it back with a cloth. Just don't be too picky and it turns out really cool with all the cracks and the grooves that happens. Okay, next it is time to seal DIY paint with a water-based top coat or wax. I choose wax on this and I just do clear, but you could do colored wax as well. Coming up, I use some gift wrap tissue paper and I use my DIY liquid patina to mod podge the leopard paper on here. And I didn't get part of the paper on there, so I just used some sandy blonde to kind of camouflage it. Here, I took the crockery stamp and just put it on copy paper, cut around it and and use the liquid patina to glue it on. And look how cute these are. 